In this KV video, we are going to learn that how you can create text input in uh, KV. So now let's get started. First, I'm going to just import from kv.uix dot uh, text input import text input. So you can just simply create a text input. So you can say text input. You need to create the object of text input. And uh, let me just return the text input. And if you run this, you will see a text input. So you can see that we have received this. Uh, now you can add some more uh, features for this text input. For example, uh, in here you can just set the font size. And uh, I want 50. Now if you run this, and now you can see we have a bigger size of fonts. Uh, font. Uh, for example, if you want to uh, remove this multi-line, for example, uh, I don't want the multi-line, so for this, you can just make it false. So in here, you can add uh, multi-line and make it to false. So now, if you run this, you will see that uh, we don't have any multi-line for the text input. So if I write something and if I hit enter, you can see that I cannot write uh, in multi-line. Uh, so also you can use Kiwi, a uh, Kiwi file for creating of this. Uh, for this, I'm going to just create a new class. I call it uh, my text input. And uh, let me just import from Kiwi.uix. You can use uh, text input, also you can use widget. So I'm going to just use widget and it extends from the widget class and we are going to just pass this. Now I have already created a Kiwi file. Uh, this is the same as my this uh, app class name at name of textwindow.kiwi. And also in here you need to let me just comment this and we are going to return this my text input class. Okay, now in the Kiwi file, the first thing we need to is specify the version of uh, Kiwi. And we need to define rules for this my text input. So I'm going to just add text input in here. Uh, now if you run this, let me just run it. You can see that we have a text input in here. Now if you want to, uh, you can change the uh, uh, width and height. For example, uh, I want the width should be as my width of the window. So root dot width. And now if you run this, You can see now the width of the uh, text input is according to the window. Also you can change the height. So for the height you can say root dot height. And also let me just uh, make the multi line to uh, false. Now if you run this you can see we are receiving nice text input and you can see that uh, but the multi line is false you cannot enter to text to the next line so like this you can work with the text input in Kiwi